massive, dynamic, complex place that's continually changing and evolving. But I think there are some hallmarks of what defines the MIT community. One is that this is a place that is unconventional. I think MIT often prides itself on not falling into the norm, often doing things the way that it wants to be done because that's how it reflects our community, our values, and, and people. I think it's also a place that's incredibly mission-minded. We were founded with the explicit goal of making the world a better place, using technology and education as a vector to accomplish that. Uh, people usually want to know where to go to see interesting things, um, what the tour guides will talk about, uh, and we can direct them with, um, we give them maps and brochures to kind of give them an idea of what MIT has to offer to the outside public. Yeah, it was pretty helpful because I could see at least, I, I like before going anywhere, I just read all these points of interest and then I decided where I wanted to go. And then after that, uh, I also could have able to plan the distance so like I know where some stuff are. And then also like the coloring, the buildings that are important instead of keeping the other ones black and white was helpful also. If you're choosing between colleges, right? If you're deciding, is this college right for me? You don't want to hear facts about buildings or academics or the requirements. You want to hear about you know the social life and like um, the extracurriculars and activities and how intense the academics are, which are things that aren't really directly addressed by the campus tour. I never, never really got an official tour. I feel like when I started, um, I just showed up and there was a little bit of an orientation, but it was never, never a tour. Maybe there are some optional tours. Um, so I. I basically discovered MIT sort of on my own once I was there. Um, and I'll choose, I'll choose the foot massage. Not that I think that tour guides should give everyone a foot massage, but I, I'm sensing comfort from here. Um, and I think if people are comfortable, they'll want to ask more questions and engage more. So that's definitely something perfect. that would be perfect. Sometimes the tour groups are really full of diverse people with diverse interests, and one tour, I feel, doesn't cover their interest well. So sometimes we have tourists who are really just interested in what is MIT kind of briefly, and they don't need a whole hour and a half tour about student life and their classes and stuff like that. And so for those tourists, I always feel like my tour is too long. Then there are prospective students who could benefit from an even longer tour. You know, they want to know every detail, and I actually feel like my tour doesn't have enough time to cover everything. And then finally, there are actually like business people who are looking at MIT as an investment opportunity or something. And my tour definitely does not help them because I don't really cover things like that. I'm really trying to show MIT as a place for someone to come uh, like benefit from and not a place to make money off of. So yeah, all those different interests I have to put into one tour and it, it's very hard to make it useful for everyone. Yes, I would love for it to be more of a community training process where you bring on, you know, even if it's small groups of tour guides at the same time so they can build and curate their tour together and practice and get ideas from one another and have some community amongst them. Yeah, this is huge. I often feel like there are huge stretches of time where I'm just like walking people down a street or through a hallway and maybe they're enjoying looking at it but also maybe not and I always feel like those are the moments I struggle to keep the tour exciting and compelling. Experience, you know, it's not just the tour. It doesn't start with the tour. It starts even before they get to our campus. It starts when they're on the website, you know, when they go to sign up, um, when they navigate to campus, when they are sitting in the space, you know, um, that we have when they're in session and the, um, admissions officer. So the campus tour is actually really the last thing mm. that they do.